Hey guys and gals, this is Bri and I have seizures. And today we are talking about photosensitivity epilepsy. So let's begin. This is from the Epilepsy Society, Epilepsy Foundation, and Epilepsy.com. So let's begin. What is photosensitivity epilepsy? Photosensitivity epilepsy is when flashing lights of any kind or contrasting of light and dark patterns that cause a trigger seizure. About 3% out of 100 will have photosensitivity epilepsy in their lifetime. People who has photosensitivity epilepsy has generalized epilepsy. And photosensitivity seizures or epilepsy are usually in kids to teens and they usually grow out of them. How can you tell if you have photosensitivity epilepsy? The common way to have a photosensitivity epilepsy is to get a special EEG test. This kind of test, you have to hook your little electrodes everywhere in your head. You will look into a TV or a monitor and test with flashing light and different speeds. It varies, but if it's between 3 to 300 hertz flashing light per second, that could trigger a seizure. In rare occasions, the hertz is 3 to 60 flashing light per second. What patterns can trigger photosensitivity seizures? Some are sensitive to patterns in light and dark contrast, such as stripes or bars. And a trigger pattern appears if you are changing positions or directions. The flashing, flickering, and or patterns effect can make a normal person feel uneasy or uncomfortable. Because of this EEG test, it may or may not have photosensitivity epilepsy. No. This may or may not have photosensitivity are rare and usually 3 to 60 hertz. What are the factors in sudden exposure of photosensitivity seizures? If seizure meds does not work, you have to cover your eyes if exposed. There are many factors that contribute to photosensitivity seizures. The most common are tiredness, stress, and excitement. For example, long video games with or without breaks there is strobe lights. For example, a concert or fire alarm light. There is full fledge of vision. For example, getting too close to the computer screen and seeing things against the dark background. For example, a movie or a screen with a dark room. What are some tips and consider to avoid a photosensitivity seizure? 
there is a lot of tips and tricks of photosensitivity seizures. If you have uh, environmental flashing lights, avoid the flashing lights if possible by cover one of your eyes. Closing both eyes does not work. If you have a TV, watch the TV on a well-lit room if possible. Lower the brightness on the screen and sit back from a distance. Use your remote control to reduce the distance from you and the screen. And put sunglasses while watching TV and avoid watching the TV for very long. If you are playing video games, lower the brightness and get as far away from the screen as possible. Do not play if you are tired. Cover one eye and alternate every couple of times. Make many breaks and shut off the video game if you feel weird or funny. If you are on the computer, use a LCD or flat monitor to avoid flickering. Wear a non-glare glasses like a blue block glasses to reduce the screen glare and take breaks from the computer. If you have social media or website ads, some ads have the option to disable or turn off the video ads. If you have strobe lights like a disco ball, Cover one eye while turning away from the source. Avoiding places where strobe lights are used like a bar, clubs, or concerts. No, some school dances may have strobe lights, but if a photosensitivity person wants to go to the dance, the school will not use those strobe lights lights in accordance with the school. And if you are in a fire alarm in public place, theaters, restaurants, recreational areas, etc., you are safe. Under the ADA, the American with Disabilities Act, they are required the fire alarms flashing to be 2 hertz as well as a slow ring. Well, that was all I got on photosensitivity epilepsy. Anyway, bye bye for now and remember we have disabilities, but we are much more than meets the eye. Remember that. See you later, guys.